Hey people, we'll be making another procedural HDRI in this tutorial. This time it's going to be animated fire, and yes, you can totally make animated HDRIs. So let's get started. So I just have a simple scene set up here with um, a few spheres of different materials. And we're just going to be using uh, environment lighting for this one, so you can either hide or delete your lights. And we're going to go up to the shading tab up here. I have a uh, render view on, we're using Eevee. I'm just going to turn the overlays off. We're going to go over here and switch from object to world. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is click on background, press control T. If you have node wrangler, it'll add the texture coordinate and mapping. I'm going to delete this image, add a separate XYZ. And a mix RGB. I'm going to change this to black and white and connect the Z to the factor and then plug this into the background color. So now you can see we just have a linear gradient going uh, up and down. And next we're just going to duplicate these two, connect the mapping node, make another uh, mix RGB, I'm going to, to plug the top one into the factor and the bottom one into the first color slot. I'm going to add a color ramp. I'm going to flip these around, change this to B-spline, switch this to multiply, I'm going to add a noise texture, and a mapping node, I'm going to plug the generated uh, texture over in here, and plug this into the vector, and this into the second color slot. Okay, and next I'm just going to mess with this uh, top mapping node a bit and move it down a little. 0.5 should be okay. Next we're just going to move these over and add another mix RGB. Plug this into the factor. You can set this back to mix and I'm going to add a color ramp between it. And I'm just going to crunch up this black a little. And we can see in our scene now, um, it's white at the bottom and uh, a little darker at the top. And when I move this, it push, it brings that texture down. I'm just going to mess with our noise texture a little to make it look a little closer to fire. And to make this colored like fire, we're going to add another mix RGB duplicate this color ramp, connect this into here. This is going to drive the factor. And in our black slot down here, I'm just going to add a black body node and plug that into uh, this black slot. And then this mix RGB is going into the white slot of the other one above it. And if we set this to B-spline, it'll be a smoother transition. So now it's not completely white at the bottom. And we can just move this black flag up a little to adjust the color. And so right now, this is starting to look a little more like fire, but it's not animated. So we'll work on that next. Okay, and so to animate this, we're going to uh, come over to our noise texture over here, add a value node. And in here, we're going to add a driver by pressing the pound and then type in frame. And this gets the current frame number over here. And so if we plug it into location and press the space bar to start the time, we can see that this is moving, but it's moving way too fast. And we only need to uh, um, animate this on one axis. So what we're going to do is add a separate XYZ and a combine XYZ. I want the X and the Y to come from this generated over here and the Z to uh, come from this separated one. We can plug value into here and then this can go into the location. This can go into the location over here. And generated can go back into the vector. And so now this is only animating the Z, 
but it's still moving too fast. So I'm just going to add a math node, change this to multiply, throw that in there. And then I'm just going to turn this to a really small number, 0 0.02. And it's also going backwards. So in here, I'm actually just going to do one minus the frame, press enter, and that should uh, give us just negative frame value. So now we can see it's going up. And really, the rest of it is, is up to just uh, minor tweaking. If you want to have this go uh, higher or lower, you can change this uh, Z value right here. If you want the, the, um, the color to be a, a little more yellow on the bottom, you can change this black flag right here. And that's all there is to it. This is a little more complicated than the last few, but it's not too many steps. If you have any tutorial ideas, leave a comment below and share this video if you found it helpful. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.